Let us finish with the muscles of the thoracic wall. We were talking in regards of serratus posterior muscle, which is which is the one that we uh, mentioned the last time, along with uh, the extensions and uh, the junctions, the ligaments, processes. Attach, attachments to superior borders and following up with it I'll ask you to take a look in your atlas the contents of an intercostal space the anterior uh, and posterior thoracic wall right and also the dissection of the posterior part of the thoracic wall and continuing with it we are mentioning the innermost intercostal muscles are similar to the internal intercostals and are really deep parts of them These muscles pass between the internal surface of adjacent ribs and occupy the middle parts of the intercostal spaces. The subcostal muscles, variably in size and shape, extend from internal surface of angles of one rib to the internal surface of the rib inferior to it. Crossing one or two intercostal spaces, the costals run in the same direction as the internal intercostal and lie internal to them. The transversus thoracic or transverse thoracic muscles. Four or five slips attached posteriorly. Hypoid process, inferior part of the body of the sternum and the adjacent coastal cartilages pass superlaterally attached to the second through sixth coastal cartilage. Transfer thoracic is continuous inferiorly with the transverse abdominal in the anterolateral body wall. Nerves of the thoracic wall the thoracic wall has 12 pairs of thoracic spinal nerves. As they leave the four foramina, divide into ventral and dorsal primary rami. The primary rami of T1 through T11 nerves become intercostal nerves running through the extent of intercostal spaces. The ventral rami of T12 nerves inferior to the 12 ribs become the subcostal nerves. The dorsal rami of thoracic spinal nerves goes posteriorly just right lateral to the articular process of the vertebrae, supplying bones, joints, muscles, vertebrae to supply the skin of the back in the thoracic area. Typical intercostal nerves 3 through 6 Along the intercostal spaces posteriorly, it runs between the parietal pleura and the internal intercostal membrane. At first, they go across the internal surface of internal intercostal membrane and by the muscle near the middle of intercostal space. Angles of the ribs, nerves pass by the internal 
intercostal, innermost intercostal muscles. Sheltered by the costal grooves, they lie just inferior to the internal arteries. Collateral branches arise by the angles of the ribs, providing supplying the intercostal muscles. Anteriorly, between the internal innermost intercostal muscles provide branches and other muscles raising to lateral cutaneous branches in approximately the M capital letter A capital letter L capital letter anteriorly nerves appear internal surface of the internal intercostal muscle. Near the sternum, the intercostal nerves becomes anteriorly and goes between the costal cartilages as an anterior cutaneous branches. And to the dorsal ramos lateral anterior cutaneous branches or ventral ramus. The spinal nerve provides well-defined strip-like surface of skin extending by the posterior median line to the anterior median line. This band-like skin or dermatomes supplied by sensory fibers. The dorsal and ventral rami of the spinal nerve. Dermatomes are arranged in segmental patterns do the thoracoabdominal nerve comes up from segments from the spinal cord related dermatomes such as T4, T5, T6 come out together very often. The group of muscles supplied by a pair of intercostal nerve is a myotome. Muscular branches of typical intercostal nerves provides the subcostal transversus thoracis, levator costarum, serratus posterior muscles. Branches of a typical intercostal nerve includes rami communicates, communicating branches, connecting intercostal nerve, ipsilaterally sympathetic trunk, presynaptic fibers leave each nerve of a white ramos passing to a ganglion of the sympathetic trunk, but synaptic fibers are in the body walls and limbs, leaving all of them the ganglia of the sympathetic trunk, following via gray rami to join ventral ramos of the nearest spinal nerve includes intercostal nerves.
fibers of sympathetic nerve distributed along all branches of the intercostal nerve to blood vessels, sweat glands, and smooth muscle. Collateral branches comes out near the angles of the ribs and assist supplying intercostal muscles. Lateral cutaneous branches comes out beyond the angles of the ribs and pierce the internal and external intercostal muscle halfway around the thorax. Lateral cutaneous branches divide and turns into anterior and posterior branches which assist supplying the skin of thoracic and abdominal walls. Anterior subcutaneous branches supply the skin anteriorly in the thorax and abdomen. Posterior penetrating the muscles and membranes of the intercostal space in parasternal line. Anteriorly cutaneous branches divide into medial and lateral branches. Muscular branches supplies intercostal, subcostal, transversus thoracis, levators costarum, and serratus posterior muscles. First, second intercostal nerves are atypical. First part of their course, they pass on the internal surface of first and second ribs. The first intercostal nerve does not have cutaneous branch and non lateral cutaneous branch. The ventral ramos of the first thoracic T1, the spinal nerve divides in large superior and small inferior part. The superior part joins the brachial plexus. The nerve plexus supplies the upper limbs. The inferior part becomes the first intercostal nerve. The second intercostal nerve is large of two branches of ventral ramos of second thoracic T2 spinal nerve. The small branch joins the brachial plexus. Laterally, the cutaneous branch of the second intercostal nerve. The intercostal nerve comes out from the second intercostal space at the M capital letter A capital letter L capital letter going into the serratus anterior entering the axilla and R. The intercostal nerve supplies the floor, the skin, subcutaneous tissue, the axilla and then communicates with the medial brachial cutaneous nerve supplying the medial and posterior surface of the arm. Vasculature of the thoracic wall. Arteries of the thoracic wall. The arterial supply to the thoracic wall derives from the thoracic aorta posterior intercostal and subcostal arteries, subclavian artery through internal thoracic and supreme or superior intercostal arteries, 
axillary artery through superior and lateral thoracic arteries. Intercostal arteries go through the thoracic wall between the ribs. Each intercostal space is supplied by three arteries. A large portion intercostal artery and a small pair of anterior intercostal arteries. The first two arise from the supreme or superior intercostal artery. Usually nine pairs of posterior intercostal arteries and one pair of subcostal arteries arise posteriorly from the thoracic aorta. The aorta is slightly to the left of the vertebral column. Right intercostal arteries have longer curves than those on the left side. The right arteries crossing the vertebrae and pass posteriorly to the esophagus, thoracic duct, acigus vein, the right lung, and pleura. Posterior intercostal artery gives off dorsal branch accompanying dorsal ramos of spinal nerve supplying the spinal cord, vertebral column, back muscles, and skin. Each artery gives off a small collateral branch crossing intercostal space running along the superior border of the rib, terminal collateral branch of each posterior intercostal artery anastomose. Anteriorly, with the anterior intercostal arteries, the posterior intercostal artery goes along with the intercostal nerve and by the or through intercostal space. At the angle of the rib, the artery goes into the costal groove lying at the intercostal vein or between and uh, including the nerve. At first, the artery will run at the intercostal vein parietal pleura and the internal intercostal membrane. After that, runs between the innermost intercostal and internal intercostal muscles. The internal thoracic arteries. Historically, internal mammary arteries comes out in the root of the neck from the inferior surface of first part of subclavian arteries. Descending each internal thoracic artery in, in the thorax posterior to clavicle and first coastal cartilage, running on internal surface of thorax slightly lateral by the sternum and 
lies at the pleura on the pleura posteriorly near its origin the internal thoracic artery crosses or crossed by the phrenic nerve the nerve to the diaphragm at this level I would like you to take a look in your atlas the figures of veins of the thoracic wall then inferiorly in the thorax posterior to the superior six costal cartilage and intervening internal intercostal muscles descends past the second costal cartilage the internal thoracic artery running anteriorly to the transversus thoracic muscle ending in the sixth intercostal space dividing into superior epigastric and musculophrenic arteries. Two anterior intercostal arteries supplies anterior parts of the upper nine intercostal spaces, passing laterally, one inferiorly by the margin of the superior rib and the other superior margin of the inferior rib. The anterior intercostal arteries provides to the superior six intercostal spaces derived from the internal thoracic arteries. At their origins, the arteries supply the first two intercostal spaces lying between parietal pleura and internal intercostal muscles supplying next four intercostal spaces separated from the pleura by slips of transverse thoracic muscle. Aries supplying seven through nine intercostal spaces comes from the musculophrenic aries branches of internal thoracic aries. The anterior intercostal aries provide supply to the intercostal muscles and branches supplying the pectoral muscles breast and skin veins of the thoracic wall the intercostal veins goes along with the intercostal arteries and nerves and deepest in the costal grooves. 11 posterior intercostal veins and one subcostal vein are on each side. The posterior intercostal veins anastomose with anterior intercostal vein Posteriorly, intercostal vein ends at the acigos venous system of vein that obeys venous blood to the S capital letter, V capital letter, C capital letter. At the region of first through third 
intercostal spaces the posterior intercostal veins goes along to form a trunk that usually gets empty into the corresponding brachiocephalic vein. The internal thoracic vein are along with the veins. At this level, take a look at the veins of the thoracic wall in your atlas and the surface anatomy of the thoracic wall. The thoracic cavity and viscera. The thoracic cavity has three divisions. Two lateral compartments The pulmonary cavities contains the lungs and pleura. A central compartment, the mediastinum, containing all other thoracic structures, the heart, thoracic parts of the great vessels, trachea, esophagus, thymus, etc. Pulmonary cavities are separated completely from each other with pleura lungs occupying the majority of the thoracic cavity extending this mediastinum superiorly on the superior thoracic aperture to the diaphragm. Pleura and lungs. Is as pushing your fist into an underinflated balloon relationship people can visualize and when the balloon wall adjacent to the skin of your fist which represents the lung makes comparison to the visceral pleura the remainder of the balloon represent the parietal pleura. Between these cavities, the layers of the balloon is similar to the pleura cavity or analogous to the pleura cavity at your wrist root of lung. The inner and outer walls of the, bal the balloon are continuous as well the visceral and parietal layers of pleura forming all together a pleura sac. Lung is outside of but surrounded by the sac by the pleura sac just like your fist was surrounded by but outside the balloon.